Today, we're talking about how to light an interview setting on location. We have this beautiful 1800s barn or farm at our disposal, so we can use every location inside this barn for a video or for an interview setting. The two things that we're looking at is a wide shot and a close shot, and the difference between how you would build up a lighting setup. So I guess there's a lot of ground to cover. So let's go. The first thing that I do is I build up the cameras to get an image, so let's do that first. It's always nice to have an image because then you know what you're building up to, but we need something very important, and that's a chair to sit on. So let's find a chair somewhere. I think there's plenty of chairs to choose from. <laughs> yeah. Frank, would you please? Yes, sir. Okay, so one of the great things about using an aperture light is that you can hook it up to Sidus Link. So that's what I'm doing now. Set up. And then we can adjust the light from behind our monitor, which is very nice, especially if you do stuff like this without a gaffer. I might move the light over to the side. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So instead of like a 45 degree angle, I'm moving it out to the side, which is more of a contrasted look. Works. Safety first. Okay. Let's check from Frank's perspective. Let's move it a bit. Okay, so this looks already a lot more pleasant to me because it's a very moody and sort of interesting location. So to have him front lit fully, you know, his whole face white, um, doesn't seem realistic to me. So we now have more of a contrast on the face and because it's quite a large room, there's a lot of spill and a lot of light bouncing around. So the other side of his face is still lit a little bit. Um, so that's good. Now, the difficult thing about doing a wide shot, a wide interview shot, is that you have to move your lights out of the way, you know, because they cannot be in the frame. So that does create a little bit of a limitation because the light is harder. You know, if your source is further away from your subject, the light becomes a harder, uh, harder on the face with a sharper edge. Um, so that's something that I don't necessarily like. But because it's a wide shot, it doesn't, you know, feel too heavy, if that makes sense. Um, it, it, you know, whenever you go closer, you can soften up the whole image by putting the, the sources closer to your subject. So that's definitely what we're going to do. But for now, I think this looks pretty cool. Okay, so now we've moved closer. Um, so the second thing that we're doing now is move the lights closer and get the bounce board in place so we get a nicer uh, overall image and a softer output of the lights. So first thing that I'm doing is I have my monitor here, so I'm checking the image, and then I'm moving the light closer right on the edge of the frame. So first off, let me find a nice focal length, which is probably going to be something like a 35. It's not like a 40, maybe. Okay, let's move the light closer. We go back into Sidus Link and then we'll turn it down because you don't really want to create an unrealistic image. So what I always do is I use my false colors to check the exposure on the skin and most importantly, the contrast between the other side of the cheek, which is, uh, you know, the contrast side. Now we're moving this bad boy in place. So I actually don't think I can do it alone. So Frank. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, sweet. I want this a bit more from the side to create more contrast. The thing is, because we just made a wide shot of this same setting, it's kind of hard to put in a backlight right now because the backlight wasn't present in the shot on the first, you know, wide angle. But if this would be your only interview shot, you could. So let's do it just to see what it does and if it's beautiful or not. This is the Emron 200X, which is a uh, bicolored light, which is nice. Like that. Okay. Um, so I reset the Bluetooth. So now I'm going back to my image and I'm checking if it's nice or not. So what I personally always try to achieve is a natural, well, as natural as I can, image regarding the light. So 
what is very important is that you look around the room, you know? It doesn't make sense to put a tungsten light source in here because it's like, well, 6,500 6, Kelvin outside. So you need to be wary of that. While looking at my false colors, I'm just going to paint it in real slowly. Okay, so now Frank has a bit of a wrap around his face, um, which is nice. It's not super contrasty because the backlight fills in a little bit and then the bounce board also fills in the, the side of his face, so that's good. So I kind of like it. We do still have a B angle to set up, so that's next, but um, for now, A camera is nice. Personally, when I'm doing uh, interview sets, I always try to use two angles. It's nice for cutting um, and it's nice for, um, you know, a lot of <laughs> situations actually. Let's take a look at the final results. If I would shoot this for a project, I would definitely skip the wide shot. It's cool for an establishing like two seconds, but as an actual interview, this just wouldn't make the cut. The close shot on the other hand is quite cool. I think it's nice to have him centered because of the centered nature of this whole building. Also, it's easier to light, it's easier to create a wrap around him, so I kind of like this shot. Then the B angle of the close shots, also very nice, and it's because of the window behind him, and just the simplicity of the shot really works, and it cuts really nice together. <sighs> That's a wrap, I guess. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you have any questions, you know, you know where to find me. And we'll catch each other next time. Love it. Amazing.